from Lake Tahoe. John Paul here and I, I figured I'd do a little sharing with you. I, I haven't been on YouTube an extremely long time and it's been a real learning process. And one of the things I thought I'd share with you, and hopefully it, it's helpful to some of you out there, um, is the fact that while trying to, to figure out all the, the video stuff, how, how to video things, how to get decent audio and video using the equipment I already have, um, I've been looking at a fair number of channels to see how other people are doing things. And this has turned out to be pretty significant because as a rule for my own large format film photography, I don't look at other people's work. I've decided over time that I, I don't want that input. I, I want to go out and genuinely for myself experience uh, what I do in the outdoors and compose my art just relative to that emotion and how I'm feeling. And what I found is while looking at videos to learn how to do video and do the YouTube thing, um, the subject matter has been bleeding into uh, my subconscious. And so I have been, uh, I think I've been straying and actually getting confused with the message that I'm trying to share and, um, gosh, with, with the actual work that I'm doing. So it's nice because when we have moments of upset or failure or difficulty, if we're conscious of that, especially as creatives, it really bumps us back into line and brings us, if it's the right thing, back to where our passion really lies and, and where our talent lies. So at this point, I, I think I'm once again moving in the right direction. And if you're experiencing these things as well, I, I just wanted to share that you're not alone. And I, I assume it's quite common out there. But right now, I've, I really feel wonderfully back on track. And it's great because fall is still another month away or so. So I'm excited for the upcoming fall season. And just to share, I am a large format film shooter that shoots primarily color with some black and white when I see that and feel that. And I then move myself to a digital darkroom, which has always enabled me not only to be more accurate with my prints, but also to print in the grand scale that I've sort of become known for and, and that I love. I, there are very few things that are as exciting as looking at one of your prints in six, seven, eight, ten feet and, and really feeling as though you're back in that spot and realizing that I can share that with people all over the world and, and make them feel what I felt in those beautiful places. So uh, please do follow along. If you like this, hit the like button. Subscribe um, if you would like to see everything else that I do and, and where I wander around next with my photography. Um, subscribe to my free Fine Art of Nature newsletter if you'd like to. Comment below. Share this. Let me know things within the realm of what I do that you would like to see and learn about so I can share meaningful content with you. And it's also helping me build my, my new um, ebooks and video courses that hopefully I'll be bringing out very soon. Thanks for following, guys. Get out there. Happy shooting.